guys, um, welcome back to the broom closet. Let's get that out of the way. Um, and in case you don't know who I am, I'm Laura. <laughs> I'm having a day, I'm telling you. I'm on a roll today. I'm filming a bunch of videos um, ahead of schedule uh, because I have um, other work that needs to get done this week and I don't know how much time I'm going to have to get filming done. So um, today I'm filming the updated 2015 planners. Um, I know I didn't do one. Did I do one last year? I don't remember. Um, but as most of you probably remember, uh, the last planners that you guys saw me using were those little spiral round store-bought um, planners. And I thought that I would go out on a limb this year. And I um, downloaded some free planners. I will put all the links to the planners and where I found them in the description bar below. Um, and I purchased one planner. Um, and the reason that I purchased the planner was because it was, um, I think it was for like $13 max, I got three planners. I got a meal planner, which I don't really use but it's kind of nice to have. I got a daily planner and a blog planner for under $13 uh, US. And um, it really had a lot of stuff that I use or I found useful um, for the things that I want to do. Um, I still struggle with finding just the right planner, exactly what I'm looking for. And um, I'm thinking maybe I might try to make my own planner for next year. Um, if I have any luck with that, uh, I will probably put it up for you guys for a free download, but you'll just have to wait till 2016 to get it. Um, so uh, these are my current planners for right now. The two binders, they will be bound together at Staples. Um, it's just that I have not had time to take them over and get them uh, bound yet, so they're currently in a binder. And I have too many um, little bl planners here. These are both the same uh, planner, just done on two different sizes. This one goes in my wallet, this one goes in my computer bag for work. And this one currently houses my day planner and this one is housing my blog planner. Um, I'm going to go into further detail, but I'm going to have to jump over to the filming desk and uh, so you guys can see like a bird's eye view of this. Um, again, these are a mix mash of multiple planners um, because I'm weird. <laughs> I just wanted something completely different, something that I was going to be able to use for me, something that was going to kind of go with my um, Novaturant word for this year and was really going to help me give myself the kick in the ass that I need to get more content out for you guys. So I'm going to jump over to the table and I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so here we are over at the filming table. <laughs> and these are the four current planners. Again, these two are going to be um, bound. I just have not had time to go over to Staples and get them bound. But I'm going to start with my two uh, little mini ones here that I have. These are my I take them everywhere <laughs> planners. Um, they are obviously the same planner as you can see. Uh, these come from Lime Tree Fruits. It is a free planner. I will put the links to all these planners where you can find them all down in the uh, description bar. Now, as you can see, these have like a shiny cover. They didn't come this way. Um, I had um, some laminating sheets. They're just the, one, the peel and stick ones at home and decided that I probably should use them and thought that this would be good. Save me a little bit of cash having to get these bound because they're just little travel um, planners and they're not gonna, I don't expect them to last the year. So basically what I did was I laminated the uh, fronts and the back, or the front and the back on both, and these are identical. Um, and then I punched holes. I put washi tape, different type colored washi tape um, as you can see here on the edges just to strengthen where I was putting the holes as you can see like this I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more for you guys because I know that Bootsy Bootsy Boots is gonna be yowling in the background because well that's just what he can do Okay, so 
Um, this is September. Obviously, there's nothing in it. But uh, these are just really cute little um, planner pages. I just printed them in smaller formats. Um, has the full month, um, and then it has some little, uh, like, well-being, family, finance, home, expenses, a little section here for notes, um, s things to start doing this month, things to stop doing this month, and um, little, uh, I think they're watercolor painted, uh, little drawings with little phrases on them, and they're like that for every month, as you can see here. Um, so basically what I did was I went through each page after I cut it down and I put washi tape on all the edges, I punched my holes, and then I did, I, want, I can't remember what this uh, binding is, um, I will try to find the link for this binding, it's a video, um, and I will try to put it down in the description bar, um, but basically what I did was I started at the back and each month is it will lay flat but I put, I left the pages in the center blank and I just bound the two pages at a time. That way, if I have extra stuff that I need to write, I can write it on these uh, blank pages if I want to, you know, pull out my planner while I'm at work or something and just kind of doodle, then I can do that as well. And I have to fix that light because it's driving me nuts. It's probably not much better, but oh well. Uh... Then I left my binder threads a little longer and I sewed a button here so that I could wrap my thread around. Uh, on this one I just used some baker's twine. I did the th same binding but I did three holes. Uh, I also used washi tape on my edging here, and as you can see, this is the exact same planner as this one, it's just on a larger scale. Um, and I just added, uh, you know, just little touches of washi tape throughout just to kind of, you know, add my own flair to it. Um, in my notes section, I have a couple little notes, uh, some scheduling. Um, down here, I wrote my word of the year, Novaturant. Um, Things that I want to start doing this year, th this month, things I want to stop doing this month. Again, I feel, because these are really simplified, they're very pretty, they're very um, well thought out, they're absolutely beautiful, and they're very simple. So it's something for me that I can easily um, just flip open as I'm going. Uh, there's days where I don't always take my computer bag with me, so it's good that I have this little one. It fits right inside the pocket of my wallet and um, I'm good to go. So if I've ever gone out somewhere and I don't have my computer bag or I'm not at work, I know that I have a planner in here so if something comes up I can check my schedule. Um, this one again will live inside my purse or my computer bag for when I go to work. And uh, at night I take these both out and I um, do whatever I have to do with them and then they go directly back into my bag so that I have them on close at hand when I go out. So my at home planner at the moment is just in this binder and again the, the my blog planner and my at home planner is uh, they're a mix match of planners. <laughs> So I will put all the links in the description bar below for you guys to go and take a look at these. Um, over here you see a sheet um, and it has just different colored inks. I use very different colored inks to denote what it is that I'm working on, what needs to be done, and for what area it is for. And the pens that I like to use are the uh, Papermate Inkjoy. Um, these are just 1.0 millimeter tips. Uh, pink is Artistic Pagan. Purple is from my broom closet. Green is the Crochet Zombie. Um, blue is like personal stuff, so like if I have to work on a certain day, then I would write it in this color. Orange is Cast Off Crew. Black is All Channels. Um, light blue is emails and Facebook stuff. And red is another site that I work on for another per for a friend of mine. 
And then I have two spare colors in case something should come up. I'm just gonna go kick my cat out of my room now because he's driving me nuts. Okay, Boots. Go, bye-bye. So that's my color scheme. <laughs> Works well for me. Um, so this is my cover page. This cover page will be laminated when I go to Staples so that it can be bound in place. This is from one planner. <laughs> this is from the planner. Is this the planner that I purchased? Oh, I don't remember. I've been spending days trying to print off these sheets. Anyway, um, again, mix match of planners. This is 2015 at a glance. Um, complete all the months and the dates, so it's a good, like, just a refresher for me. Um, again, you can notice a completely different style than the previous two pages. This is my overall goals for 2015. Um, <clears throat> on this sheet, it has goal and then steps. I actually um, don't really need the steps. I know what my goal is. I know what the steps are. They're in my head. So I just write down uh, what I want as for pertaining to... Um, things that I want to get done this year. Uh, I have tabs. These tabs came uh, from the same site that I got this front planner on. And I have them done for all of the months. I have a notes section and I have an important days, dates section. So for each month I have a cover for January, February, blah, 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 blah. On the reverse side of it, I printed the month at a glance calendar. And then the next page, and these are pretty much all the same throughout all the months. I have a monthly goals page for each month. I have a uh, note section. Um, basically, it's a master list of all the things that I want to get done in January. And as I'm um, as I schedule them, I check that I put a little check beside them. As you can see here, um, as they're being completed, I cross them out. Um, so you see a lot of things that I have written here have a little check beside them. Um, it's because they have been scheduled, and then once they're crossed out, they should be done. Um, should I run out of time, I will refer back to this list, and anything that's not crossed out will be moved to the next month. And the my notes pages, I have them printed on double sides. The next thing I have is a uh, peek at the week. This is, again, um, I believe that these two pages are from the same planner. I can't be positive. Again, it's been a couple of days since I put these together and downloaded all these planners, um, but I will put all the links to the planners down in the description bar. You guys can go and check them out for yourself. Um, each week has a breakdown. Uh, the weeks for this start on Monday, which are really good for me because usually Sundays I try to take off for myself and my family, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, then it also has a block for next week. Anything that you want to kind of push to next week, then you can. Um, below that is a block for to do things that you really got to get done, but they kind of don't need to be scheduled. Um, this section down here, I don't usually use it unless I just want to make a quick note, but it's um, things to eat and things to buy uh, Monday through Sunday. Uh, these peaks of the week are mostly printed on um, a double side. And as you can see, my first two weeks of January were kind of just a lost cause. I was really, really sick. So this is um, our current week, January 12th to 18th. And these are all the things that I got to get done this week. Again, you can see they are color coded. Um, things that I got to get done, but they don't really need a schedule. They just need to get done within this time frame. Um, and I do have one thing written in to buy, which is yarn. Uh, at the top of this page, I have a little heart tab thingy, which just says this week. Um, this will get moved every week to the following week. And again, they're printed on double side. Uh, I'm about a week and a half um, ahead on scheduling. Whether or not these will all get done on time is yet to be seen. On months where there are only, you know, an odd number of weeks, so say five weeks, obviously I have two weeks per sheet of paper. 
but on weeks where it has an odd week, what I've done is I've printed on the back of it from, uh, these sheets come from my cover planner, which is a thoughts section. So behind my last week, I have a thought and I have a thought. Basically, I use these pages to, um, you know, kind of just say to myself, okay, you know, these are the things that I got done, these are the things that didn't get done, but they got to get done, and these are the things that I want to move to the next month, or just to kind of just talk about how the month went according to my initial plan. Um, I may also use these for sketches, um, doodling, whatever the case may be. So there's two pages for that, and I have a blank side just in case. Um, again, for February, it's pretty much the same thing. I have a monthly goal sheet. I have my peak at a weeks. Now, because um, February has an even amount of weeks, I printed a front and back of my um, thoughts page. Again, it's just to kind of dump out all the things that I thought about that month. Um, all the months from there on out are the same. At the back of my planner, I have a tab that has um, notes. I have to print out more of these. I think that's on my one of my lists to do back here for, for January. Um, yeah, right down here at the bottom, print out more notes, project planner, and idea to do sheets. <laughs> See, I have to write everything down. Um, and then I have an important dates section. And on this, this came with um, the same planner as the dates, or the notes. Um, and there's two versions of this. There's the completely blank one, and then there is this one, which is um, important dates. So if you have a birthday or whatever, you write them down here. And then over here, it lists all the holidays um, for that month. And then there's a block down here for notes. Um, I printed these for the whole year, back to back. So on it's January, February is on the back, uh, March for the whole year. Uh, that way I know I can always just run to the back of my binder to see if there's a sp special holiday or something coming up. And then this will actually be the back for my um, planner. This was off my old planner and I thought why waste it? I had to take the planner apart anyway so I'm going to use this as my back for when I get it bound and um, have my front cover laminate it. So this is my personal at home everything gets thrown in here planner planner and this is my blog planner. Now my blog planner again is in a binder. <clears throat> this is the planner a, a mix match planner as well because um, I found some pages useful other pages not so useful. So this is my cover sheet. This is the this cover sheet comes from the blog uh, the planners that I purchased. Again, this planner is amazing, especially if you buy the three pack. Even if you don't use the meal planner, um, it's still a better deal to buy all three versus trying to pay for individual planners. Um, but the girl that did the work on this was fantastic. The she just put so much into this that is definitely well worth the um, uh, less than $13 US. So this is my front cover. On the inside I have year at a glance again. Uh, the first page in my planner is a daily maintenance page and it has uh, blog, email, Pinterest, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. Things that you have to do every single day for each of these things that they never fail. You don't want to have to keep writing them down on every single page. This is great. I love this page. It's like my best friend. On the back, it's just plain, so if I have to sketch, I can. And then again, I have my monthly tabs down the side. This is from a different planner, but I love these little tabs. They were so cute. Again, I have a cover page for each month and the month at a glance. This is uh, the next page in all the months. It's a blog goal, so I have a block for thoughts, monthly goals, and yearly goals according to this month. So in January, I want to have at least uh, four posts per pay, per uh, blog by the end of uh, January. Obviously because I'm a couple of weeks behind because of being sick, I may not get four posts out, but that is was my initial goal when I started my planner. And then for the year, I want it to make 
uh, I wanted to create more traffic to my websites, offer more content, and create new followers. So as of January 1st, these were my goals for the month and for the year. <clears throat> and then there, down below is a section for action plan. If you feel that you need to really step-by-step -step, um, show how you're going to do these things, the action plan section is great. If not, um, and you're like me and you know the steps you need to do, you just need to get down the initial goal, um, then you could use this for further goals or a checklist, whatever it is that you need. Um, the back of this is blank because my next page is a notes page, um, which I have on one side ideas that I want to uh, use on my blog, so I may want to sketch things out. And on the reverse side, it is um, video ideas and design ideas. Uh, and that's usually at the front of every month uh, in my blog planner. The next page is an ideas sheet. And what I do is I pick three ideas for the month. Um, usually there'll be one for each of my uh, channels or my websites. <coughs> and then, so there's a project idea here and then there's a supply list beside each one. Um, I use this for ideas that have popped into my head from the previous month and I wanna write them down so I don't forget them. And then on the back is a to-do list um, with a date from and to. Uh, I haven't started using this yet. That's my plan for later today. The next page is a project planner. Uh, basically what I do is I pick something from here, from one of my lists here, and I work out what I need to get done. Now obviously this is from a completely different planner. Um, so this one, you know, it has the project that you want to do, the goal, uh, supplies needed, notes, things that you want to, you know, try out, think about, things like that, and a section for doodles. It's just a really cute page. On the back is, again, I put the thoughts section because I really want it to have a place where if I had extra thoughts or extra ideas, I could put them down. This next page is not in all of the rest of the months, just because um, it may not occur every month, but this is a post series planner. So, um, like I'm, I want it to do the meet, uh, meet my pets thing. And as you guys noticed from my first blog post about it, there's no way that I can fit it all into one blog post. So obviously it's going to be a series. Um, so this is where you would plan out, you know, what it is. Is it, uh, how, for how many days, weeks or months, um, reoccurrence is it weekly is it monthly which day or which um, you know section of the month uh, post ideas uh, start date the title the concept if you have guest bloggers or um, collaborators and then the link party section down here at the bottom the back is blank and then I have a uh, week out of view blog posts um, section there are enough per uh, month printed out of these. So if there's five weeks, there's five sheets of this. Um, I also use this for my videos as well. I just add it and videos. And uh, these again start on Monday because that's what the typical work week starts on and that works fine for me. Um, on the back of them, I have uh, printed the Pinterest group boards tracker. Um, so if you you are trying if you are a person that's on Pinterest and you have a lot of groups that you contribute to, these are great to have. Um, this is my plan for this year. Um, these are things that I don't normally think about or don't normally use, but I really want to start um, cross promoting with other, um, whether it's crochet or art or my personal my personal channel. I really want to start cross promoting, working with other people that are doing blogs or websites. Again, as you can see, the first two weeks were just kind of a lost cause because I've been sick. Um, and then this is the breakdown over my third week. So as you can see, again, I'm using the same color coding that I did in my daily planner. Um, in these little blocks, it's the date, um, which day of the week it is. And then here we have title, keywords, and schedule. I don't use keywords or schedule. What I've done is I will cross these out and it'll be a new title. So, you know, channel intro, planners for 2015, word for 2015. As each of these things are done, I will cross them off. If they don't get crossed off, they will have to be moved to the next month or the next week in, in some cases. So uh, again, up here, like in my daily planner, there's a little sticker um, that says this week that will be moved for each week that it needs to be moved. So 
so then the next page after my week at a glance is um, basically it's for the whole month the date post title scheduled pin fa Facebook Pinterest Instagram Twitter and Google Plus and then there is a blank column here so if in my case I would use it for tumblr then down here is a quick uh, stats section page view visits email subscribers Facebook Pinterest Twitter and uh, Instagram sorry reverse the last two um, this is just a really great way to keep track of the posts you've made, where you've cross promoted them, and see if your stats are going up per month. The ba back is blank. And then the next page, which is the second last page in each month, is the monthly income. So all the information you need for your income, if you are making an income on your blog, and expenses I have written on the back. The last page in each month is uh, from the same planner as this, which is the brain dump. I use this at the end of the month in my blog planner um, for all the things that I wanted to get done or things that are just really bothering me about the, the previous month. I can write them all down here. Um, this is double paged. Uh, I have more of these printed off and in, in the spare pages binder um, in case I fill these two pages and I need to add another page to, you know, a certain month. So that's um, January, uh, and it's the same thing for all the months that continue on. Each month is tabbed accordingly, and again, it's all exactly the same. This is going to be the back cover of this, journal, of this planner. Um, it's the back off of a previous planner and I just really didn't want to waste it. The very last page in my planner is a blog statistics and it's a block for each month of the year um, and it just gives you an overview, one quick page so that it kind of helps you in your following year. So that's it. Those are my planners. Um, if there's something that is um, extra or needs to be done throughout each month, I have um, color-coded little um, sticky tabs, um, my three signature colors, and I have signature color post-it notes as well. That way, if something comes up and I don't have room or I need to just make a quick note, I can write it on either one of these or a post-it note and stick it in on the day or the week that it needs to be done. So those are my planners for 2015. <laughs> It's, um, I know some people are probably thinking, oh my god, that's a lot of stuff, but in, for me, it's not. This just reiterates the fact that I need to get stuff done. If I write it down multiple times, then I know for a fact it's going to get done. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great week, and uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, you'll find all the links to all these planners and calendars and stuff down in the description bar below, as well as all of the rest of my links. And... Um, don't forget to let your brooms fly free, and I will see you guys all again really, really soon. Bye!